because the idea is to degrade the culture. That is what people, that, that is why the clip is viral. Oh, Ben Shapiro, back at it again. Yes, conservative propagandist Ben Shapiro, back at it again, this time freaking out because pop star Lizzo played James Madison's crystal flute. This is highly entertaining. So I'm going to break down just these insane arguments. The right freaking out about Lizzo playing a flute. It doesn't get better than this. All right, so I'm going to play uh, first the context to all of this. So Lizzo was indeed invited to the Library of Congress. Here they write, hearing Lizzo play some of the, some of the library's priceless antique instruments on Monday was such a gift, and we were honored and happy to help her share that gift with her concert audience Tuesday night. Here is some more behind-the-scenes footage of her library tour. So I'm going to show you a bit of this. I'm also going to show you her playing the flute at, the, uh, at her concert in D.C., and then I will get to uh, Ben Shapiro's hilarious argument about why this is bad. But first, here is uh, Lizzo. Uh, I can play it or no? Yes. Oh, yes. oh my yeah. lipstick doesn't. Work. Right? That's what I want to know. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> So in case you didn't know, Lizzo is a trained flautist. I had no idea until I saw that video and found out. Clearly, very talented, very well trained, knows how to play the flute. That was my only real takeaway. That continues to be my only real takeaway here. Wow, she's really good at playing the flute. Ben Shapiro, though, no, he found a way to be offended. So here is a disheveled and stressed Ben Shapiro <laughs> talking about how terrible this is. The first clip, totally uncontroversial. The one that actually made the rounds, however, was her twerking, because it is the contrast. That's the whole point that they are making. And commentators were saying this. It is the contrast between Lizzo, a significantly overweight African-American musician, right? Because the idea is that it's groundbreaking for an African-American musician to play James Madison, the, the found, one of the founders of the Constitution, to play his flute. That's the groundbreaking aspect. But really, it isn't even her race, right? They tried to make it about her race. It isn't really her race because I'm sure that if they had wanted to find a better flautist who is black than Lizzo, I'm sure that there are many black flautists who are significantly better than Lizzo, right? They play in orchestras around the world. I'm sure they are wonderful. Okay, so if the, if the idea was just going to be, we are going to take a historic instrument that belonged to a white Southerner who was in charge of founding the Constitution, and we are going to have a very talented African-American black person play that, that would have been really uncontroversial. Like, seriously, it'd be the equivalent of if, if, let's say, that George Washington had had a harpsichord and we had had Condoleezza Rice go and play the harpsichord. Like, everyone like, okay, all right, fine. Okay, but it is the twerking that does it. Understand it's the twerk. It, it is about the twerking. The story is solely and completely about the twerking, which is why you didn't see the first video. The first video has a few views. The one of her playing very nicely in the Library of Congress while dressed somewhat decently. It is the second video where she is twerking and wearing skimpy outfits with the flute that is, because the idea is to degrade the culture. That is what people, that, that is why the clip is viral. The reason the clip is viral is the contrast between a person twerking and the idea of, a, of a, an extraordinarily classy instrument, a historic instrument that speaks to sort of the gentility of America's founders being brought into a context that is vulgar. It's the vulgarization of American history. Again, Lizzo did both, and only one of those clips went viral. Every day on this show, there's some clip that is taken that is utterly uncontroversial and then made into a thing on Twitter. Oh, my God. Yeah, every day, every day on this show, I play a clip and I outrage over it, even though there is no reason at all to be offended. But I do it every day for clicks. 
It's amazing that he said that in the midst of that segment, that he is talking about how other people do that. Other people take uncontroversial clips and make them controversial while he is literally doing that with Lizzo playing the flute. I'm going to get to some reaction online, but first here, just pulling out some choice quotes from that insanity. He goes on to say, uh, it's the twerking. This is what really bothers him. Oh, the twerking. I can't believe she twerked. Did you even notice? Did you honestly even notice that she twerked while she played the flute? Was that even twerking? She like shook her butt a little bit. <laughs> like that, that was the extent of it. And it was for like half a second. And even if she did actually twerk, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? How, how can you possibly think that this, as he quotes, the vulgarization of American history, Lizzo playing the flute is the vulgarization of the slave owning James Madison. Lizzo is degrading him. Really? Is that what's going on here? And then he randomly, for no reason at all, just points out or says that she is a significantly overweight African American. <laughs> what? Like, what? Is that part of the argument? Like, why did you even bring her weight up? It's so bizarre. And then he goes on to talk about how the idea is to degrade the culture. She is degrading the culture. Again, degrading what culture? I'm going to get to a history teacher here in a second from TikTok who uh, did a really good breakdown on this um, uh, that I'll show you. But man, the idea that Lizzo is degrading James Madison <laughs> is hilarious. And then another similar argument, a historic, a historic instrument that speaks to the gentility of America's founders. Yes, the gentility of America's founders. Yes, the genteel slave owning James Madison, of course. All right, let me get to first here. I saw this shared by history or shared by 50 Shades of Way. History teacher, anti-social studies. I will share her TikTok under this video on uh, YouTube. So check her out. Uh, here is, is her breakdown of this moment. Can we talk about how insane that moment is from a historical perspective? Lizzo is playing James Madison's crystal flute. She's the first person to ever play that instrument. James Madison, like all founding fathers, was a complicated person, but he wasn't that complicated, right? He enslaved people. He never freed a single slave in his entire life, even in his death. He was the architect of the three-fifths compromise that allowed the southern slave-owning states, of which he was from, to count enslaved people as three-fifths of a human being, right? He was also the president of the American Colonization Society that basically said, you know what, black people, even if they are free, are never going to be able to fully integrate into white American society. So let's just ship them off to a new country we founded called Liberia. James Madison's crystal flute. I can't think of a more perfect symbol of the wealth and excess of the enslaving aristocracy that many of our founding fathers were a part of. The fact that that flute is being played by a black woman in DC, the capital of our country that was built on slave labor in front of cheering crowds. Amazing. All right, so I'll get to a few more quick reactions on Twitter. But again, that was Antisocial Studies on TikTok. I'll link to her page below this video under Sources on YouTube. Great historical context there, giving you the actual cultural relevance of that moment. Not that it's degrading the American founders or the vulgarization of American history. No, it's the fact that it's Lizzo playing that crystal flute and what that means in the historical context of that being James Madison's crystal flute. But a few more reactions online here. So this from uh, Tiffany Lee says, Lizzo, a black female superstar collaborating with Carla Hayden, the first African-American and first woman librarian of Congress to use a flute from James Madison, the founding father who originated the Three-Fifths Compromise and also the Library of Congress itself, the symbolism. From uh, an on-gate artist here says, if you're outraged about Lizzo playing a flute, wait till you find out what James Madison did. Of course, notice how Shapiro didn't bring any of that up at all. At all. Last one here. Parker Malloy says, That face when you're a right winger who finds out that Lizzo played a fancy flute you didn't know existed. <laughs> With a picture of Peterson crying. Peterson, as far as I've seen, has not commented on this. But if he finds out, expect this reaction. Anyways, this whole thing is just 
ridiculous. Nothing at all wrong with Lizzo playing the flute. I, I don't, to be honest, I, I really have a hard time believing that even Ben Shapiro's own audience cares about this, but I could be wrong. They will turn anything into a reason to get angry while I turn it into a reason to laugh.